What's popping YouTube? It's your girl Jay, and I'm back to pop my sh again. So hey you guys, if y'all hear a lot of noise, it's because obviously I'm outside in a really busy area. But um, I just wanted to create this YouTube video because I've been MIA. So if you're new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning subscriber, what's up gang? Well by the time you guys see this, I will have just dropped my ebook, Mentally Motivated. And so I do want to get tell you guys a little bit about Mentally Motivated since we're on the topic. Let's talk about it. So Mentally Motivated was an ebook that I created for people who need a step by step guide in improving their mental health and overall lifestyle it includes goal worksheets fitness planners interactive activities a gratitude journal and much much more and right now by the time y'all see this it should still be on sale for 25 dollars. so make sure you guys get that ebook mentally motivated you guys i'm in my digital product bag i really said new year new me and i was not playing it's really a new year new me and i'm tapping into everything and just doing everything that you know i said i was gonna do that i kept procrastinating on because it's it's just about that time jay jay gets back in her mode it's just about that time and that's pretty much what this video is just going to be about um going through a transition period and what it means to transition and how you get through it and things like that so for those who don't know um one of the main reasons why i've been in my on youtube is just because i'm in my transition period and i'm pretty much vocal about the things that i go through um not because i'm looking for sympathy points because i'm looking for like sympathy points or anything like that or not just to put people in my business but because i really want to document and share my story and share my journey because i have been through a lot like looking back at the past couple of years of my life i'm just looking like I cannot believe all of this has happened but i'm glad that everything has happened the way it did because it allowed me to start something new it allowed me to give up on my past life and say hey i'm ready for a new chapter and that is so important when you are transitioning you have to be okay with letting your past go and i was just talking about that on tiktok when you're meant for something so much more it's going to be extremely difficult for you to live a normal lifestyle if you're not in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing and you know i'm just tired of not being full i'm tired of not of not being whole so you know i had to make the necessary adjustments so with that being said you know i had to leave the nightlife industry and that's part of my transition because um as i told you guys in my vlog before i am now a full-time entrepreneur and content creator and i'm giving this thing my all and the thing that you want to keep in mind the most when you're transitioning is that it's it's going to get better like when you leave that that past by your like when you leave that past alone and you start to seek something new it's going to feel very difficult because you're going to get an unfamiliar feeling you're out of your comfort zone and 2024 is the year to get out of your comfort zone stop feeling like you have to be in one place i have to tell myself that all the time like i don't have to be in this one place just because people tell me i have have to be in this one place i don't have to be in this predicament because people says that this is the norm this is what i should be doing that's not what i want to do and it's not what i want to do so you have to think for yourself and understand that that's going to come with challenges and difficulties it's not easy to undergo a transition um phase of your life because you know you're going to shed you're going to shed so much dead weight and dead skin and stuff that you've been holding on to over the past couple of years or whatnot or your whole life and it's like that's no longer you so you have to stand firm in in who you believe that you are anytime you feel like the world is too much to handle just be honest like i know in the past and i can only speak for myself i know in the past i try not to really speak too much about what i was going through because i mean i do feel like it's nobody's business but also at the same time i do believe that speaking you know my truth you know cannot only help me but it can help someone else you know and that also goes back to fulfilling my purpose and just being full being whole being in alignment and you know what i realized is that 
I'm not the only one that's going through things. So why should I have to feel the need to suppress my feelings? So I'm going to talk about them because what I have been through has made me the person that I am today. And I'm so excited for the future and what's to come. I'm about to come in the car because the kids started playing. The car went shut up. And I really want to get my message out. But yeah, so like I said, I'm in my transition period in my life. And it's honestly one of the most bittersweet things you know life lives and life happens and usually when stuff like this happens, we just have to pick ourselves up we have to pick ourselves up and it's so you know i i can't even put it into words how i'm feeling because part of me yes feels blessed i'm i'm it's honestly a sweet feeling because now i know i'm walking into the season that i'm supposed to be walking into i'm walking into a a era in my life where everything is going to turn around for the better like that's what i'm walking into right now and and i just want to cut on the camera and just just you know be just give you guys some encouraging words for anybody else who's going through a transitioning period like don't feel like it's over like i could be like so bad like oh my gosh my life is over because I, I don't know. I don't know what this year has in store for me. I don't know. Usually, you know, people make plans and they, you know, have an idea of what they're going to do this year. I really cannot tell. The only thing that I know to do is to get back consistent with my content and things like that. Like, that's what I know to do. That's what I have to do. Whatever happens after that, I'm not sure. I do not know. But I'm going to surrender and put it in God's hand. You cannot mess with God's plan. They always say, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans tell him your plans because here's the thing like and i know people gonna be like oh oh you're a bum you're a bum you're being lazy you don't want to work you got pride it ain't got nothing to do with that like when i say this new transition in this year 2024 is so personal it's really me versus me because i really slept on myself for too long like i didn't have to be in this position that i'm in right now but because i wasn't consistent because i didn't believe in myself because i self-sabotaged and i was overthinking wanting to be perfect and all these crazy other things because i was like that th these are the consequences that i am facing facing for not doing what i was supposed to do so it's really a me versus me type of type of season it's really me versus me and i and i know a lot of people probably like well you know stop saying you're gonna do it and just do it blah 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 i'm telling my story and i'm going to tell my story because that is a big reason as to why you know i started out loud as to why you know i go so hard for mental health because i was depressed i was so depressed and just felt like i wasn't going to be able to you know be you know happy again and i know that i'm on the path to happiness i'm on the path to peace i'm on the path to joy and being mentally motivated will get you there i'm telling you you have to understand that you have to work out you have to meditate you have to cut out certain things you have to eat right you have to do all of these things so you can be the best version of yourself and and improve yourself you have to that's the reason why I created the ebook to be very informative. It has a lot of information in there that you may need, but it's also a real step-by-step -step guide. It's going to give you the tools that you need to change your life around. And that's what I've been doing. I've been working out every day. I've been meditating. I've been making sure that I'm staying consistent with my goals, my dreams. You have to be motivated to get somewhere because if you, it all starts with your mindset, bro. It all starts with your mindset. If you are not the type of person to to change your mindset you're gonna forever be in the same position and it's like okay i could go and and you can't get you can't expect different results doing the same thing so i can't have the same kind of job because the new me the 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 best version of me she doesn't work at that type of at that type of job she doesn't work at that type of job so i have to make sure i get a job that's in alignment to who i'm becoming you really have to step into who you want to be you have to step into who you want to be you cannot be someone you cannot wait for something to happen and say oh well this that and the third this is what i want to happen no take the take the steps and become that person because when you become that person everything else is going to follow you cannot say oh i just want to sit here and i'm just gonna wait until this that and the third no don't do that 
don't do that don't sit and wait till life happens to you you can change your story at any given time and it takes those necessary steps good communication skills by making sure that you're building resilience by making sure that you're understanding mental health and self and becoming self-aware self self being becoming self-aware is key if you do not know yourself you do not know nothing if I didn't know who I who who I was, bro, I'd be somewhere crying, y'all. I'd be somewhere crying because I'm not in the position to where I want to be. I'll be, but I know myself. I know I'm gonna get out of this thing, and y'all are gonna be the witnesses. Y'all are gonna see it. I know that this is gonna turn around some kind of way. It is. It is. And so I just wanted to come on here and honestly just vent and just be me and just say however I feel. I don't care. Like, I do not care. I am in the season of my life where, man, I'm coming after everything I said I wanted. And I'm really doing that shit. Like, for real. Like, not even for fake. I'm really doing it. I don't care who got something to say about it because I'm telling you, they ain't going to have nothing to say when it's time to yuck. When, when when shit really start rolling, they ain't gonna have nothing to say. Jaws gonna be on the floor. Nope, pick them up. Pick them up. Make them pick them jaws up. Baby, you gotta get up and do this for you. When you in your transition period, you gotta get up and do this for you. You can't sit there and be like, oh, well, I wish this. Da, da, da. Get up. Get up. Pivot. One thing I love about myself is that I can pivot. I'm so, I, listen, this don't work. Okay, boom, I'm finna do this. This don't work. Okay, boom, I'm finna do this. This don't work. Okay, bad. I'm finna go back to doing this. You gotta know how to pivot. That also, become, that also comes with becoming self-aware. You do not know yourself. You don't know nothing. If you don't know yourself, you can't expect to get to the next chapter. Because you don't even know who you, listen, everything you go through, learn, take it as a lesson. A lesson learned. Life is all about lessons. Life is going to life. And life doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. So while you're going through those tough lessons, use that to learn from. Life is all about lessons. Some people just learn quicker than others. You got to know how to take the things that you go through and apply it to the next chapter of your life so you know what to do differently. Don't ever sit in and sulk into some kind of way that you don't don't ever sit and sulk into this into this depressive state. No, we're not being depressed, anxious, none of that this year. We're just gonna get up and do the best that we can do because that's all we can do until, for the time being. Man, I'm telling you, the more you put your work in, the more work you put into something, you're gonna get something out. What you put into something is what you're gonna get back. So if you put your all into your goals and your dreams and stay in mentally motivated you're going to see those positive results don't always be drinking smoking using sex as a crutch to not cope with your feelings no i'm not doing none of that i'm not dating right now i'm not doing none of that why i'm not dating right now because i'm so focused on me and where i'm trying to go i don't need nobody to hold me back this period is for me this phase is so i can come out on top and that's how I'm going to do it by just being me, being myself and understanding that, yes, I'm going to go through things. Yes, you're going to go through things. But being mentally motivated and mentally motivated means making sure you have a motivational mindset. You have to have a mo I don't. I'm not no freaking motivational speaker. I don't want to be no motivational speaker. But I've been through a lot in my life to know that I, I'm going to take these L's and use them as a lesson. They're not losses, baby. They're lessons. And now I know how to move forward. Now I know what to do. Now I know what not to do. Now I know who to trust. Now I know who not to trust. Don't sit in, in your misery. And, and it's okay to be miserable for a second. But baby, my misery don't like company. So when it's time for me to lock in, it's time for me to lock in and be on my ground alone. And you're not necessarily alone. Like, you got people around you, yeah. But when it, it, it all boils down to you and your mindset, it all starts with your mindset. If you have a negative mindset, y'all, nothing good was happening for me. To be honest, having a negative mindset is why I'm in this position right now. Having a negative mindset is why I'm in this position right now. I never used to think good about anything because I just felt like things wasn't going right. But now that I shifted my mindset, guess what? Things are starting to align. Things are starting to happen for me. I'm starting to get up. I'm starting to feel, feel fresh. Like it's just a new sense of life. 
and you can feel like that too. These people on social media, they'll tell you this, that, and the third, but a lot of these people really ain't been through it enough to even tell you how to even get through it. I'm not no therapist. I don't got a degree in psychology, but I know what I know. And I know what works for me. And I do know if you apply the same steps to your life, you can also change your mindset so you can be in a better position. That's just my little pep talk. I just want to give you guys a pep talk and just tell you guys about the Mentally Motivated ebook. It just dropped, so make sure you guys go get it. It's going to help you, I promise. I, I'm also going to be making other ebooks um, about depression, anxiety, and um, ADHD. They're going to be separate, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that if you want a specific ebook on one of those issues. I got y'all coming, so make sure you guys follow Out Loud LLC on YouTube, TikTok, and on Instagram so you can stay posted with everything that's going to drop. And also make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, and I will see y'all next video. Bye!